I haven't looked at all the areas in which they compete and applied the Justice Department test to it. But it sounded initially like, you know, that they were putting together two companies that were either actual or potential competitors in many ways. And that's the job of the Justice Department. I mean, you know, we have a Sherman Act on the books and the Clayton Act. They, they are to look for when things are anti-competitive. And uh, uh, my guess is that certain competitors of those two companies objected strenuously. And, and it was not a surprise to me that that deal fell through. It, it's a very tough thing to make a decision. I mean, they've let certain airline mergers go through that reduced competition somewhat. But the industry was doing so poorly that the, that the government probably decided that it would be a more efficient industry if it was reduced in numbers. But if you tried to do it one more time or something of the sort, my guess is that they would say, now, wait a second, you know, this is getting a little too cozy. I mean, if you look at the oil field, though, I mean, that's a that's another area that's been pretty decimated just by the price yeah. of oil. Uh, obviously, prices come back up. We're back at forty five dollars now. But it's been pretty hairy for over a year with yeah. oil prices. I, I guess they just look at that a little differently. Well, that, I, I'm sure that has some effect on what the Justice Department is looking at. And I mean, conditions do change while it's under review. But if if the directors have of two companies really like the deal too much, you may have an antitrust problem. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.